year three, uh, the distribution has been excellent for you guys, but there's still a couple markets in Ohio, a couple markets in Pennsylvania with Armstrong and, and Blue Ridge. Yep. What do you, what would you say to those fans that to make sure that uh, you know they make sure they get the game on the first well, week? I'm of actually season? coming down. Into, I'm going to be in Pennsylvania. I'm going to be um, visiting um, those those cities that have. Um, on the, on the western part of Pennsylvania, eastern part of Ohio that are Armstrong subscribers and also on the far east of Pennsylvania that are Blue Ridge subscribers. And um, I, I think the time's long past due that if, if you know, they're looking for the network, um, you know, DirecTV and other providers are out there. And uh, you know, it, it's kind of crazy three years in with people being able to watch our games in China, in Germany, in Florida, and Texas that people in Pennsylvania can't watch Penn State football. It's, it's, it boggles the mind that it's still out there. And I see no change on the horizon. Um, the Armstrong has made it very clear they're not going to carry the network. And, you know, this is one of the unfortunate parts of, of, of the job I have. And, uh, you know, carriers refuse to carry us. I need to let the fans know that if they want the network, there are other providers there. Um, we're going to have a great discount with DirecTV while I'm out there where fans can um, hopefully save some money versus their, their Armstrong cable deal. And, um, you know, I think uh, the, the early days are over. And there's no, there's no discussions. It's the, the, you know, the price has been determined. The carriage has been determined hundreds and hundreds of times over and over again. And, you know, Armstrong needs to run their business the way they, they want to. And it's their decision. And the network needs to do what it can to let its viewers know where to get it if they want to watch the network. So it's unfortunate. It's not the part of the job I enjoy to do. But I think we're long past having these kinds of conversations. Year three, have you exceeded your expectations of where the network is at this point? Uh, we've, we're, we've exceeded our expectations on what we're able to do from a programming standpoint. I mean, with our new slate of programming this fall, um, you know, having up to two hours a night of new shows, um, some of which are library type shows like a Big Ten Film Vault, some of which are newer shows like this Next Level, where you take recent, um, recent and, and former NFL and um, MLB, NBA players that played in the Big Ten and put them on air. The Big Ten Icon Show, which we're all really thrilled and, and proud of, our, our football four pack, where we have football shows every night of the week. You know, it's just we we've come a long way in a few years, and and I think. We are a little ahead of where I would envision we'd be programming-wise, and, and our big challenge is just, um, and it's not easy to do because you know viewer habits are set for many, many years, and just having somebody think to turn to us um, when they get home from work um, and just see what's on the network, even if there's not a game on. And that is something that takes a long time, it's a long, and, and we need to put enough out there where if somebody's just turning the channel and they see something that they're not used to seeing on the network, they give it a chance to see if it's something they like. We need to create quality, interesting programming that people are going to want to see. And we just got to keep pushing it out there. And, and we made a great strides last year with our football four pack. And now we're basically doubling the amount of programming on the air this fall. So I, I think we are ahead in that standpoint. I think we're continuing to get better. We're still really early in our evolution of a network. Um, I'm happy with our progress. Um, definitely still have some holes in distribution, as we talked about, and, and we need to get better on air. Um, but we're, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with where we are.